Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, we are in Minecraft, and I'm going to be showcasing the Mutant Creatures mod. But first, I'm going to get this out of the way. We are at 178 subscribers. That is super awesome. I just started this channel a little bit over a year ago. Actually, like two or three months over a year ago. And we're already almost at 200 subscribers, and that's seriously amazing. So I just want to thank you guys for all that. Uh, keep up the good work, and hopefully we can get to 200 by the end of the year. I, I don't think that will be a problem for us. I think we're good, but... Anyway, so my last mod review actually did pretty decent, a lot better than I thought it would, so I'm going to try to do some mod reviews more often. So, anyway, on with this mod. Like the name suggests, this pretty much just puts a bunch of mutant creatures into your world. So, they do spawn naturally. It's very rare, but they do spawn. Or, if you want to make some yourself, you create Chemical X. So, to create this, you take four obsidian, put a water bottle in the middle, and you're done. So, it doesn't give you 64. That's just the way I have it, so... We'll go ahead and take this. I could just do this. I don't know why I'm being dumb like that. But anyway, so here we go. So you put the obsidian like this. Put that water bottle right in the middle. And boom, Chemical X. So as far as I know, this only works on creepers, zombies, endermen, skeletons, and the snow golems. But it may work on other mobs. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll just go ahead and grab all these. And we can test out this Chemical X. So these mobs are pretty powerful. They're a lot more powerful than the regular creepers, the regular skeletons, zombies, and endermen. So that's why I have all this OP armor on and these, these OP weapons. So anyway, first off, we will test this out on a creeper. I turned off the daylight cycle so it's always night so that the mobs don't die quickly. So we, we get the creeper. And here's the thing. So when you throw the Chemical X down, it has a 50% chance. It'll either kill the mob... Or it'll turn them into a mutant. So, I mean, you just got to use it wisely. Use it when you think you want to take that risk. I mean, if you have a loss of obsidian... Oh, there you go. The creeper died. Uh, hold on. I'm not on peace. Well, no, obviously I'm not on peaceful because, I mean, I wouldn't even be able to spawn the mobs in. So, let's try this again. I mean, if you have lots of obsidian, lots of water bottles, and, I mean, this isn't a problem. There we go. This is not a problem for you. So, look at him. That guy is huge and intimidating. I would not run to run into him. That's actually pretty scary looking. I mean, dang. Kind of reminds me of the human centipede. So anyway, this guy has four legs instead of the two. I believe the creeper only had two legs, right? And he's all big, and he looks like a big spider, a big creeper spider. So, uh, hold on, let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure I already have it to this, but... Oops, Tori true. Boom, because I don't want to lose any of my items. So I will go ahead and go into... Survival mode. I kind of want to go over here. I don't know. I don't really care if that gets blown up. I just don't want the chest to get blown up. Or do I have anything important in the chest? I really don't think I do. Anyway, let's go. Oh, God. Oh, no. That is not good. We are not off to a good start yet. I only took away half a heart. Ooh. All right. Well, I have a really OP sword, but dang. He can hit me from far away. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. Okay. That is not good. I am running away now. Uh, <laughs> uh, you might want to have a bow when you're fighting this dude because dang. Okay, spider, not now. Really, not now. I cannot put up with you yet because... Oh, look, a baby zombie riding a chicken. That is interesting. Okay, you don't... Oh, no. Wait. Oh, that's... No, oh, run away. Run away, baby zombie on a chicken. Actually, I have to kill you real quick. Sorry, chicken. Even though you survived. All right. So this guy... Oh, no. Don't do this again, please. I mean, oh, no. I'm in a pit with you. That is not a good thing. Die. Yeah, help me, zombie. Or a uh, skeleton, I meant. Help. Help. Whoa. Okay. Help. Actually, my armor. Whoa. And that is the end of that creeper. So, we'll go down here, and he dropped a creeper shard. So, that does two attack damage. Nothing spectacular. I mean, I think a wooden sword actually does better than that. I'm not I'm not actually sure, though. So, uh, anyway, so you get the creeper shard. I don't think it has anything special about it. Uh, okay. That, okay. Never mind. It has something very special about it. You can blow things up. Uh, I'm very, very, very low on uh, both hunger and health. So let me grab some OP apples and fix that little problem. So the creeper is very, very tough. Uh, you're going to need a bow when you're fighting him because he's got some reach. He can really reach over and just slap you across the face. So be careful when it comes to him. So he gives you the creeper shard. Uh, oh. It's not working. Why is it not working? Alright, let's trust that on this creeper. It's not blowing the earth up. Oh no! Wait. Uh, 
Okay, it is not blowing the world up. I have no idea what's going on with that, so... Get out of here, zombie. Okay, these mobs are kind of being annoying. So, the Creeper Shroud, that's pretty cool. It looks like it's really low on, uh... Like, it's breakage. It looks like it's about to break any second. Alright, so anyway, without further ado, let's move on to the skeleton. So, go ahead and spawn him over here. Boom, skeleton. So, ooh, he has an enchanted bow. Well, let's throw some Chemical X at him. Alright, here we go. Please don't die. I mean, I do have... Okay, there we go. Okay, he is about to murder me. Okay, so as you can see, he has like a crossbow. Okay, what are you trying to do? He has a crossbow-looking thing. Ooh, I'm a better archer than this dude. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so as you can see, he has like a crossbow-looking thing, and... Oh, okay, he just exploded. So he's not super, super powerful. Uh, oh. Oh, you can right-click on his limbs and pick them up. Alright, I'm gonna pick these up. Because you can make armor out of all of his bones. It's kind of morbid, but you know what? That's kind of cool, because... Uh, I was reading up on the armor. I can't exactly remember. I just remember that uh, if you make a helmet... Is that his head? Uh, I don't really know <laughs> what I just picked up. But uh, the basically what the helmet does is it makes it to where you can get like really good damage if you jump up in the air and shoot your bow. Oh, look, there's a mutant zombie over there. Uh, okay, so I'm guess I guess that they spawn. They're not too rare to find them, but uh, yeah, I'll pick up. Oh, there you go. There is... The mutant skeleton helmet, so... Oh, look, I didn't actually lose any, uh... Armor thingies, whatever you would call that. So, that's cool, uh... So, basically, if you jump up... And hit something... Whoa, hello? Oh, hi, okay. Basically, it does double the damage. But it, uh... I forgot, there were some negative effects of it. But I do remember that... Oh, okay. Uh, basically, I think it was the boots. Yeah, it was the boots. The boots make it to where you can jump higher. And I just killed him. Uh, why am I slow? Okay, that's not a good thing. <laughs> uh, so the boots make you jump higher. The leggings make you run faster. And the chest plate, I actually completely forgot. I don't know. Uh, I'll have the link in the description if you want to download this mod and check it out and read up on it and have a little more information about it than me. I'm just kind of charging into this. I did... Very, very little research about it. So, just grab all this. Alright, so now I think we're safe to move on to the zombie. You can already see a preview of what the zombie's going to look like over there. Uh, I'm going to throw some stuff in the chest because I'm really OCD about that. Don't like having stuff that I don't need. I uh, don't need this. I'm going to keep this. I uh, don't need that. Alright, so we're good. So, now, ooh, I'm getting some lag. What is happening? Uh, Alright, I lagged. had a lag spike for a second. So, not sure what that was about. Anyway... Oh, wait, I need Chemical X. What am I doing? Alright. Oh, hello, zombie. Just just interrupt me like that. I was just about to start a video. So, anyway, let's try this. Boom, Chemical X. And there's, you can kind of see a little preview, like I said earlier, about him over there. But now we get to see him for ourselves. Alright, that guy, he threw me up in the air. It's a good thing I have protected armor on. Ooh. Barely. I'm barely, I'm barely dodging him. I'm just barely dodging him. Alright, he actually isn't doing any... Oh, okay, never mind. Well, he's not doing too many short-range attacks. He's mostly just doing that. Uh, where... I don't have my arrow. Oh, I need my arrow. Where is my arrow? Give me... He is OP right now. Give me that. Boom. 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 Okay, he's dead. Oh. Oh, he's burning. Okay, that's one thing I forgot to mention. Okay, so basically you saw him lay down like that. Well, um... Hold on, I think I'm going to try it. I need something else, though. Um, Alright, here's what I'm going to do real quick. Just for the sake of showing this to you guys. Where's that other... Where's the other mutant zombie that I saw? Alright, I can't find him anywhere. I guess we'll just have to put another mutant in. Alright, come on, Chemical S, do this. So, you can kill him. Hold on. It's going to take me a while. It'll happen eventually, though. Or, I guess I'm not technically going to have killed him. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So... I'm just attacking this guy mercilessly with my whole camera. Come on, die. I'll get this guy. Okay. So look, he lays down like this, and you're like, yay, he's dead. But wait, there's more. He gets right back up. So basically, whenever he's laying down like that, in order to actually, like, fully kill him, you need to either catch him on fire or get him down four more times. Or three more times, I meant. Four times in total. And he doesn't like me right now. I don't think... 
Yeah, no, I don't think this guy likes me. Well, as you can see, he's on fire right now, so now he will actually die. There you go. Now I get two whole cameras. Goody, goody. All right, let's run back here. Uh, put all this in. Put this back. I don't need this anymore, and we are good to go with the skeleton. Or wait, no, I already did the skeleton. I forgot. All right, so now all we got left is the Enderman and the Snow Golem. So the Snow Golem is actually friendly. I probably shouldn't have spoiled that already, but anyway, I saw I'd throw that in. The Snow Golem is probably the only friendly one in this whole mutant creatures thing. Okay, there you go. Instant. This guy looks menacing. I mean, look at him. He looks like Slenderman. Anyway, let's attack him. Wait, hold on. Game mode. There, oh, there we go. Now it's fair. Now he'll actually want to attack. Oh, God. Yep, he picks up blocks and he will throw them at you. He will not even care. He'll be just savage and just throw them at you. Okay, he just blinded me. No, 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 no. He's actually taking out quite a bit of my health. I don't know where he is, though. Oh, God. It's not a good, it's not a good thing. Oops. Die. Alright, we'll get him eventually. So it's actually pretty cool what he drops. We'll see in a second if he does ever feel like dropping it. If he even feels like dying, I mean, come on. I think he has the most health. I'm not actually sure about that, but I think that he's he has the most health out of all the mutant creatures. So let me kill him, or let me try to kill him. Oh, there he is. He's dying. Yep. He Okay, that is very dramatic. And he's just, oh my god, I'm going everywhere. Okay, I'm in a tornado, apparently. I am about to die. Please stop. Am I good? I think I'm good. Alright, hold on. Game mode 1. Alright, I am not going to die today. Alright, so if you go over here, pick up all the stuff that he dropped. Uh, did he drop it? No, he didn't. Well, I'll just show it to you. So, I don't know if he even drops it, or I don't know how you're supposed to get this, but basically, you can get... Hold on, let me go ahead and... Oh yeah, I forgot I have the golden apples, so I can go ahead and eat those. Okay, that guy is coming to kill me. Too bad I'm going to kill him first. But basically, that little hand, I'm not sure if he drops it, like I said, or if you have to get it somehow, but basically, it's actually really cool what you can do with it. It almost works like a gravity gun. Alright, hold on. Let me just kill this annoying, very, very, very annoying guy. Alright, he's on fire, so he's good to go. So anyway, it's called the Ender Soul Hand. Look at this. Boom! I just picked the block up, and watch this. Hold on, how do you, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? What is happening? Okay, there it is. I don't know why that wasn't working. You can even pick up the grass blocks. Look at that. And you can throw it and actually deal damage. It does quite a bit of damage. Alright, come on. Throw it. There you go. Boom. That's actually really... Okay, there's a little baby zombie. Alright. Come on, die. Alright, so it's not super effective, but it is pretty cool. Because you get to pick up a block and just... Ooh, make the block glitch and all that good stuff. So, by itself, it only does oh, six. That's actually not bad. So, anyway, like I said earlier, not really sure how to get that. He may or may not drop it on a rare occasion. Uh, you'll be pretty lucky to get that, though, because that seems like it's really cool. So, okay, he is throwing me up in the air from all the way over there. That is amazing. I don't know how you're doing that. Uh, how do you make it like this? Hold on, come on, really, not now, not now, please, I'm... I'm just trying to do a mod showcase. Why do you gotta do this to me? I'm just sitting over here minding my own business doing a mod showcase. This bowl is absolute garbage. I mean, I guess in survival I wouldn't say it's garbage, but right now it is not being good. Alright, come on. Please, I just want to place the pumpkin right there. And then I just want to throw... Oh no, why'd you do that? Why? <laughs> you flattened him. You flattened him. <laughs> why? Okay, uh, I'm going to kill this mean guy real quick. Okay, let's try this again without people rudely interrupting us. Okay, now let's try this. Boom, Chemical X. So this guy will actually, once he's a mutant, you'll see, he actually follows you around and will protect you. He did not turn into a mutant. He died. It's a 50-50 chance. You know, you can't really, can't blame him. Not everyone is worthy of the Chemical X. Alright, and he died again. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Third time's a charm. You know what they say. I'm gonna eat a golden apple. Jeez, why won't he turn into a mutant already? Come on. 
Uh, okay, boom, boom, boom. Really? Really, zombie? You're ignorant for even trying. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go into game mode one. Oops, I'm being stupid. Why can I not type properly today? Why did I, I did that a second time? I'm so smart. I'm the most genius of them all. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's gonna work, trust me. Five, boom, boom, boom. Come on, there we go, all right. Come on, Chemical X. Do your magic, please. I really need it. I really, really need it. Okay, there we go, we got a couple. We got a couple, all right, there you go. So, game mode zero. And then you got this guy, so you can right-click him and boom. Abernathy MC, as you can see, he is now. These are all mine. These are like my body. Hey, come back. These are like my bodyguards. Hold on. Uh, we got some creepers. Oh, there's the skeleton. All right. So this guy shoots me, and then they're all like, "Oh, you what? What are you trying to do to my employer?" And then they just absolutely murder them. They pick up whatever blocks they can find, and they just destroy their face. So if you have like a hundred of these guys and they just like follow you around wherever you go too. If you have like a hundred of them, like you got a legit posse going right there. So that is pretty amazing. Uh, like I said, these are the only friendly ones in the whole mutant creatures mod, but they're pretty awesome. So you can just have these guys like guarding your castle. They're kind of like iron golems. So anyway, that is it for the mutant creatures mod. A very unique and awesome mod. Lots of fun to just play around with. Uh, like I said earlier, the link will be in the description to check this mod out. So. Thank you guys very much for watching, and once again, thank you for 178 subscribers. We got, we can get that 200. We can get it real quick. I, I'm really hyped for that 200. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.